Hello and welcome to Pan African News 360 on GUN. This is News in 5 and I am Vuyo Mguelo. These are the headlines. Nigeria's repatriation faces major delays. The Union's Federation Kosatu warns of a mass strike. The EFF leader Julius Malema denies the VBS claims. Domestic worker becomes an overnight millionaire. And lastly, Chester Williams' state funeral. A number of Nigerians who were expected to evacuate out of South Africa following the waves of anti-immigrant violence on Wednesday were forced to stay behind after some of them had failed to produce the correct documentation. Now, over 600 Nigerians are expected to leave South Africa between today and tomorrow. Now, Kosatu has threatened a mass strike if the affiliated members are dismissed as ESCOM implements its turnaround strategy. Kosatu says the SOE cannot fire its over 500 staff to reduce costs. Kosatu says the workers cannot be in the firing line. The EFF leader Julius Malema has denied the VBS claims. He once again has hit back at the claims that he has used the VBS loot to fund his lavish lifestyle after reports emerged that he allegedly spent over 500,000 rands at the Durban July. Now, apparently he has spent over luxurious hotels, his food. Obviously, I'm thinking that even the way that he dressed, Laima Lipuma Apoglo 500k, but we hope this comes out and these claims are not true because a lot of people believe in the leader. But Askolapo, if he's wrong, he must be brought back to the books and be punished for that. Now, this is such an amazing story from a domestic worker to <laughs> honey, 70 mil. Definitely, if you are my aunt, please send me a call back. I'm definitely calling back. Now, the domestic worker from PTA who allegedly just overnight found herself as a millionaire. Now, she has been working for over 30 years as a domestic worker and a girl. Huh? God was just like, fire, now you're 70 mil. I've been asking for 38 million rands from God, but nothing is happening. But we hope you will be using that money. Yazin, yeah, just make sure that it's yours. Don't tell anyone. Don't quit work. Just pretend as if you still like got your 1.5 code. That 70 mil can just disappear with a blink of an eye. Now, before we ended with some sad news from 70 million rands richer overnight. I wish that could be me. But now Chester Williams will receive a state burial. These news were confirmed by Minister Patricia Dillow and Pat just said, yes, it is true. Now, Chester Williams is suspected to have died of a heart attack last week, Friday. Again, condolences to his family, his fans and everyone uh, who had known him and worked with him. And for more of those, go to our website and interact with us and also go to our social media platforms. Interact with us because we love hearing it from you guys. We love talking to you guys. We love just enjoy, just to have fun with you guys because we love hearing your inputs when it comes to these things. More of myself. I'll see you again tomorrow. And News and 5 team, we love you guys.